Recently, I had identified fake Ozempic pens being sold in one of the pharmacies in one of the countries across the world and posted a video about it for patient safety purposes, the details of which can be found in the link below. Now, you may have seen a news circulating on the social media about Manjaro being launched in the UK in a different pen device, which does raise huge safety concerns for myself, specifically for my patients, in particular the ones who are traveling across the globe and might be purchasing the medications from different countries. So I wanted to ensure that I make a video about the Manjaro pen devices which are currently available and the ones which are upcoming next week in the UK. Now the current pen device of Manjaro present across the globe is an auto injector. This auto injector is a single use single dose device which will inject only one particular dose mentioned on the pen device in this case 2.5 and it is used only once after which this auto injector device is discarded. It has got a lock and unlock icon at the back the dial which moves only once from lock to unlock and the press button and uh, in this device the drug is present in this glass tube whereas the needle is not visible the needle is actually hidden as you can see uh, in this used device the needle can be seen visible inside but it is not palpable from the front now once the cap is removed and the lock is moved from lock to unlock and you press the button the auto injector will deliver the needle in, uh, under the skin inject the drug and the needle would be retracted after which this auto injector single use device is discarded as a demonstration pen of um, uh, manjaro this is a trulicity but the manjaro pen looks like that so you simply move it from lock to unlock you remove the cap you place the auto injector at the place of injection and when you press you will see the uh, trocar in the middle moving down injecting and going back which retracts the needle following which the device is discarded now in the uk a new device is being proposed and it has been officially declared on the diabetes uk website as well as the gov.uk website and this would be Manjaro with the same label from Ally Lilly, but being delivered in a quick pen device. Now, quick pen device is like the insulin pens we normally see. And this is an insulin pen. It is not a quick pen. It's a solo star. But the quick pens normally have the ability for the dials to, uh, to be rotated outwards. Okay. Now, uh, this is an insulin pen, which uh, is a solo star, and this is a no-rapid insulin pen. Again, the drug is present in the glass container, and the dial moves outside. Now, because these are insulin pens, please do not confuse that um, uh, device with uh, the upcoming Manjaro. The Manjaro device has not been launched, but some pictures may be circulating on the media. The dial is supposed to go back, but there are no numbers on that. There's just one number, and the device would be designed to administer a single dose. The dose will not be chained from that uh, pen device. However, there would be multiple doses in the same pen devices. Now, we're waiting for the device to be properly launched, which is happening sometimes this week in the UK and it will be a different device it will be a quick pen device which will not be a single use it will be used multiple times unlike the auto injector which is currently prevalent now this news about manjaro being released in a new pen device comes quite at an interesting time because fda website is already suggesting limited availability of some of the high doses of manjaro and has already confirmed that the company would not be able to deliver the high dosages in particular the 10 12.5 and 15 milligram dosages 
until early March 2020. It does raise some concerns uh, for, from, from my aspect, basically for the patients who are traveling abroad and those who are shopping online for these devices and these pens because there would be a potential to get hold of fake pen devices. So I would warn patients to ensure that whenever they're purchasing these medications, please ensure that you have a prescription and you get your devices reviewed by a clinician who actually knows how they look like and ensure that you are using them safely. This is mainly for your safety to ensure that you're not injecting something which is going to cause any harm. Now, some of you might have seen this picture circulating on the social media, although I have not been able to verify that from the Ally Lily reps, but it does kind of claim that uh, one pen of uh, Manjaro would be used for four weeks, which is the quick pen and would require needles as uh, you would expect in the um, Ozempic pens. Uh, there are some price tags which I have no idea about um, whether they are true or not, uh, but the um, once weekly dosing pre-filled quick pen claims to have um, the dose for a whole month so there would be four dosages but as you see the dial at the back would be going out like i have shown you in the um, demonstration pen however there are no numbers on that and it says clearly the dial starts at zero and goes up till one uh, dial the pen for up till one to deliver the full dose there are no numbers other than zero and one which means if a pen is designed to deliver the five milligram dose in one full dial it will deliver the five milligrams in that dial and it will have four doses of the five milligrams to complete um, uh, completely finish the pen after four dosages now this is just um, a speculation and uh, something circulating on the social media until the real pen comes out i would suggest the patients uh, stick to the um, original pen which is the auto injector and not proceed with any um, uh, unauthorized pens which have not been verified um, and properly released